Hey guys, what's this? I have a narration for a PBR battle and it's been a very very long time since I've done so. Now, um, as you can see, both teams are, ha are themed, they have a theme. So, my team is of course Sandstorm slash Trickle, which I specialize in because, like, out of 10 passes, 4 of them are gonna be of the same theme with different Pokemon and different strategies in them. And this guy has an all uh, Hail team. Now, there is no Trick Room starter in this team from what I see, so it looks like it's a speed-based team, So, which means that I have the edge when it comes to setting up the Trick Room. I can guarantee my speed. Now, um, I have my two Steel types that guarantee resistance to any Ice Moves, and I can see the Blizzard coming howling from, from far away. So, no fake out, no taunts, nothing to ruin my tricking strategies. So, uh, to I can safely set up and give an ask why are you saying this? Because uh, I'm going too fast for my narration, I cannot explain everything in time, but you'll see. I can set up safely and I do not have to use the Cario. Uh, I do not have to use Follow Me. As you can see, its set is pretty unique. It's not the standard close combat Aura Sphere, even though I do use Aura Sphere in this turn because I do not fear anything foil in my Trick Room. So I go straight on the offensive and get a free turn of damage. Now, um, even if he uses Blue tw twice, given that he will not freeze me, freeze hacks me, I can resist two shots at the same time. The so, Aura Sphere goes the blue corner and makes the first a very, very decent blow. amount of damage on that moment, considering it's bulky, but that means one thing, that this is an offensive set, as you can see. Uh, and even though it's my offensive, one. my guys are bulky and have to take out to take the shot very well, especially Bronze. So, Bronze Snow goes for an earthquake, and watch this, it's not all that powerful, so something tells me that this Bronze Snow is mixed. So, um, Such irony. It's maybe he was hoping for freeze hacks and uh, trying to take out the Lucario seemed like a very good idea, but I am of the policy to not use mixed Pokemon, that is my opinion. Use a certain sweeper, like special or physical, just focus on one trait of your Pokemon. Like Lucario, you can use him to be mixed, but it's better not to spread his EV so thin. You know, just make him offensive or offensive. Anyway, so I'm waiting for him to select the Ox Pokemon. It was what I feared. He's using a Glaceon. He's going to try and snow float me to death. So, um, I know you're going to say, well, you can use Explosion. That is so cheap. And, um, I know that my friend Chris would say that, but, um, it's a bronze one. Come on, what did you expect it to use? Like, what, Aura Sphere, uh, Spatial Blend, Dark Void? It's a bronze one. It is going to explode. It is what it's meant to do. It's fulfilling its destiny. You can call me a noob for being unoriginal, but it's not unoriginal because mine is a freaking doorbell and it's green and it's not blue. Anyway, so, you're going to say, what the hell is that move that you have on that Lucario? And it's Goku, not Lucario, because it uses Aura Sphere like a Meha Meha Wave and that makes it look awesome. So, provided that it does not use Ice Shard, which is awesome, I get the Helping Hand off and guarantee a boosted explosion. Um, follow me is a very useful and since it is the only 4 Pokemon that can use move, I say that it can also take advantage of the Sandstorm, and there you go, I got a space on the team. Thank you. Snow Cloak Hacks, well, I get two of them out. Uh, well, actually, yeah, it's actually two because I took out that, uh, I took out from that. So, I took out his Abomo Snow, which was very crucial to the match here, because he does not have a Hail Pokemon, and it looks like he's down to his last Pokemon, so I win the Weather War. And it is a good thing that I took Buster, I think it's a very suitable nickname for the Pardos, because it busts everything in his head. Um, but I don't like it, so because it's got so much recoil and it misses a lot more than it like it's like the head at the same time, so it is better than Head Smash, according to me, always according to me. The Powdown does not serve a great purpose here, he only serves as a Sandstorm Standard, which is great because now Glaceon is back on, um, back in my scopes, I can target him and I do not have to fear the snow cloak only rock slide missing because of its natural uh, 
know uh, possibilities for this and I said to myself, do you want to go for a hammer on that glacier to take it out for sure? But I said, no, nah, because uh, I want to go straight for the kill. I really want to take it out Articuno out because my earthquakes are going to be very completely useless and hitting both of them would be nice. So I said, you want to protect you just because you know my luck. Uh, well, my luck sucks. And I said that just in case I miss both, I want to have a Pokemon on the field to be able you know, to keep them occupied, provided that Rampardo survives. Now, Rampardo is better to use than Trickle because he's genuinely slow and is fast, and I cannot risk a Rampardo out in speed that his team is Trickle. So, I hit them both, which is very good, and you can see why. Uh, why Rock Slide is more suitable than, uh, than Head Smash because I got two Pokemon down in one turn and I didn't have to spend too much time sweeping and always flipping it in your turns. Now, this is the end of the battle. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will be narrating quite soon. So, goodbye. Thank you for.